Hi guys. Thank you. We wanted to get you in the mood for fast cars uh, with a little bit of meatloaf. So uh, this is my friend Nick, uh, and I am Super Testnet, and we're going to show you our project, which is UTXO dealership. If you've got an old clunker of a UTXO with lots of history and lots of former owners, why don't you come on down to UTXO dealership and trade it in for a brand new UTXO with no history and no former owners? All right, Nick, how about you tell us what we're going to do here? What problem are we solving? You answer that. I'm going to answer that. All right, so what are the, what are the problems that UTXO dealership solves? Uh, well, one of them is, uh, is privacy. Bitcoin has pretty bad privacy. And uh, if you've got a coin with lots of history and it, maybe you can't sell it anywhere because you get rejected from exchanges and then you got it from some shady guy online, uh, you can come on to UTXO dealership, trade it in for a new one that has no history, and uh, then we just solve Bitcoin's privacy problem. Second thing we're solving is uh, minor revenue. You see, miners, they're these poor guys uh, that are just struggling. They, uh, they have no money. The, the cabins are coming and taking all their revenue away. Uh, they're not getting enough in fees because Bitcoiners are just cheap, it jerks. And, uh, and so we come up with a way to give them some revenue. They've got all these fresh coins that they mine in every block with no history, and uh, they want more money. So how about they just sell those to Bitcoiners who want you know fresh new coins and trade in their clunkers, and uh, we can make a market out of that. Uh, and the third thing it solves is mining decentralization. UTXO dealership will help us make mining more decentralized um, because the pools that don't do KYC on their users will now be making more revenue by running uh, our software than the pools that do. So people will naturally, if they're mining, they're going to be like, I'm going to join the pools that make more money. I'm going to join the pools that uh, offer this privacy service. So we're incentivizing privacy and making privacy incentive compatible on Bitcoin. Uh, all right, so how about we do a little demo for you where we show you uh, I'm going to be a buyer and he's going to be a miner. This guy's struggling. He wants to, he, uh, he just, He's just doing a terrible thing. I mean, he's, he's lost his wife, he's lost his job, he's lost his, his dog, and uh, he's got no money left. Uh, but you know what? He can still mine Bitcoin, and he can bring back his revenue. So, he's going to pull up his little thing here. He wants to sell a coin. And how about I go to, his, uh, how, I go to the store, and I want to buy uh, 3,000 sacks. Now, we're doing this on the test net, where uh, our supply of Satoshis is low, despite my name. Uh, so, in the in the production version, there'll be you know lots bigger amounts that you can buy. But in this one, we're just going to buy 3,000 uh, fresh new sats, and I'm going to trade in my clunkers, my old 4,000 sats, uh, for that. So here I go, click the button. I'm going to buy. Now I need to send some money to uh, this Bitcoin address. We are using coin swaps to ensure this is uh, this is non-custodial and that the miner never has your coins. So. Let's do three to four thousand is what I'm paying. Paying this Bitcoin address. Okay, and so what we should see now is uh, we should see that that just got uh, noticed. We're using Nostr to do the communication between the buyer and the seller, and uh, now he's going to complete the swap by depositing three thousand sats straight from a Coinbase, straight from a you know a freshly mined uh, supply of Bitcoins that have no history. He's going to deposit that into the uh, into the um, into the swap address here, and uh, then I'll just take them, and he gets to take my four thousand. So right there, it just happened. There's the confetti, and uh, I have a new fresh UTXO. If you examine its history, it has no history. It is just straight from the Coinbase to me, uh, and and I just purchased it for a, for a nice little premium there, and. I can smell that new coin smell. That new UTXO <laughs> smell is just, you know, you've got to upgrade the luxury model, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's UTXO dealership, and we just solved privacy on Bitcoin. We solved decentralizing mining, and also, uh, you can even uh, make it not, have, uh, not have the miners run out of money anymore. So, we solved a lot of problems, guys. Thank you. <laughs>
Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I get ideas all the time, probably like seven a day. Uh, and I don't know exactly when I got this one, probably at the last CapCon. Uh, so probably I got around to building it today, or you know, this one. In terms of uh, user experience or, or I guess the flexibility of you know what your ideas are, is this going to be, I guess what I'm trying to understand is ideally who who runs the site? Is it the mining pool or is there coordinators in between mining pool and users? Well, that's the nice thing about Nostra. We're in the Nostra category because uh, we didn't want to run a coordination service. So all we do here is we have a website that hooks you up to Nostr. Uh, Nostr relays uh, are, are the point of contact between you and the relay. Uh, Nostr is divided into two categories. There's notes and there's other stuff. We're the other stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, we, we just use that because, you know, it's Nick's favorite protocol. He just, to him, <laughs> Nostra is the, is the thing. Uh, and he was like, if we're going to do this, so that's the only way I'm going to participate, is if we use Nostra, and, uh, and I'm just kidding, he hates Nostra. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we created a new kind number for selling point-based UTXOs, and, uh, and then we just make it so any miner who wants to can do it. They don't even have to use our website. They just announce it on Nostra, and our site picks it up. Okay. So, okay. So you okay? You aggregate from Noster. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. We're just displaying the information that miners are offering. So, offers for. so, so, so to kind of reiterate, this is a coordination service between miners and users. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then using Noster for uh, the message broadcasting message receiving message of messages. Message. Yes. So okay. The only the only thing Noster is any good for, uh, not good for social, uh, but <laughs> but it is decent. It is decent at uh, trying to deliver a message on a, on a best effort basis, or even like a minimal effort basis from a sender to a recipient. So uh, we, that's what we're using it for. Uh, if you do plan on like making this go live, is if it's in, is that is that a plan? Do you plan to do this? Yeah, awesome. I, I do. I do plan to fix Bitcoin. Yes. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very glad I got to meet Super at this. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it's, it's a super interesting idea. Like I said, do, just do it overseas and uh, have some of the when you do this because like, it, it makes perfect sense. But my favorite, my, my, my suggestion is protect yourself. <laughs> well, my favorite thing that's going to happen here is when I go to like Marathon or Riot and I ask them to sell their coin bases on on our on, on Oscar, uh, they're going to be like, no, I'm not touching this with a 10 foot pole. If there's no KYC, I'm not doing it. And at that moment, I will be ecstatic because what just happened is I made it, uh, we made privacy incentive compatible on Lightning. They're going to turn down money because you can't do KYC with it. And the people who are respecting their users' privacy, the pools who do respect their privacy, are going to pick up that money. They're going to sell these UTXOs, and people are going to leave the KYC mining pools in droves. <laughs> Thank you guys.